going on everyone? Here finally with the Jack X Collector's Edition Showcase Unboxing video. Now before we get into it, like with the Jack 3 one, I've already opened everything. I got everything just yesterday, but I wasn't able to record the video, so I thought my time would be better spent scanning everything in preparation for everything, you know. So by the time this video is up, everything will be up on the archive, except for the design bible, I need to scan that still. But let's just jump straight into it. So we're going to start with the Daxtermobile die-cast little toy cars. So there's six of these, one of which is in the collector's edition itself. You had to buy these five separately. So these are really, really fucking cool. So, um, here's me, here's me holding all of them. You can see there's five. I'll do like close up, uh, bits. <laughs> um, I'll just show you one of them close up. Um, which one's the coolest? This one's kind of weird. Uh, no, let's go with... This one. So this is the UR86 little car. Again, it's, it's kind of hard to see with the plastic um, reflecting. Now what is really cool about these, I was really worried when um, these were put on sale that I wouldn't be able to actually open the packaging and scan the, the inside for the archive, but they just open up just like that. And you can take out the cardboard, just take it out, and you can take out the little car, and you can, you can play with it. I don't recommend it though, as these are very valuable. There were only 800 of each car made. Except for the one that came in. The collector's edition, obviously, there are 3,000 of those. So these are the little Daxter Mobile cars. Very, very cool. I'm very happy with these. Uh, yeah. So just set these aside. Okay, so next is the main event, which is... Uh, I've just got it in the box for dramatic effect. Here is the uh, the Jack X Collector's Edition. So we'll just get rid of this fucking box. Okay. So first up, we'll just t take a quick look at this. Same on every one of these Collector's Editions. It comes with this cool paper cardboard thingo with just the stuff. It's like a back cover for the Collector's Edition. Yep. Very cool. Obviously, I'm not going to throw any of those out. They're all up on the on the archive. So, here is the collector's edition. I need to stop hitting the microphone. That would be nice. Now, third one that the this is the third collector's edition I've got where the spine is printed off center. I was really, really disappointed when I saw that. So, my Jack One and my Jack Two collector's editions, the spines were printed off center. So, what I did was I contacted Limited Run Games asked for a replacement box, and they sent me replacement boxes, and those were the prizes I used in the competition we held on this channel, um, like months ago. Now, opening up the collector's edition, same sort of usual fare as the other ones. Whoa. Don't want anything to fall out and break. So, we'll start with the most mundane one. Here is the, uh, 16 gigabyte USB memory card. This one's probably the coolest one as it's like a it's like a silver and I really love those silver PS2s and it's kind of like that. It's still very cheap feeling, not ever going to use this, but whatever. Next is one of the cool, probably, I don't know, it's so fucking cool. Here is a miniature Daxter mobile. So this is the one that's seen in game that you can unlock in the game if you connect uh, Daxter on your PSP to your PS2. This is what you can get. Little Daxter Mobile. Very, very cool. And if I can show you this at all, the wheels actually, the wheels actually move. Now this is what this was the absolute biggest thing I was worried about when it came to these Daxter Mobiles. I really, really wanted them to actually be like toy cars and actually move. And sure enough, they do. So if I just go, whoa, there it goes. <laughs> so yeah. Daxter Mobile, it's super, super, super cool. Very, very fragile though. It, it feels like it'll fall apart and just explode if you dropped it on a hard surface. So 
very, very careful with these. They kind of just sit in the box there, so it's a bit worrying for me. But we'll put this back. Next up is the Jack X Design Bible. Now, this is definitely, definitely the thinnest of the bunch. So I'll just do a quick flip through here. So there's lots and lots of really awesome concept art. Uh, it wasn't much of a flip through, but you'll get to see this soon enough. Um, yeah, definitely the thinnest. I've already, I literally just read through this like an hour ago, and I've been writing the script for the video on this, so look forward to that. But yes, uh, Jack X Design Bible, very, very cool. So next is, I've got the, um, got the Limited Run Games trading card. Uh, I now have two of these because, as you'll see in a sec, I ended up getting the standard edition as well as the collector's edition. So I have two copies of the game. I'm keeping the one that came in the collector's edition sealed because there's no reason for me to open it. But I got this one a few months ago. Uh, I, I unsealed it. And every, as you can see, there's a, another... I have two of the same card. I was really hoping that I would get the other card when I'm going to buy it separate. But yes. Here is the uh, inside of the case, so just real quick. There is the disc and the construction booklet. It's, yeah, it's essentially the same as the real one. Uh, this is all up for download, um, these instruction manuals. They're all up for download on the archive. And here's a reversible cover. Again, all up for, uh, all on the archive. For you all to look at. Now I'm going to keep this one as the cover on this because the other one is the cover for my sealed copy. You may have noticed if you've you know anything about Jack X, they didn't use the actual original cover. Like, so th this is the American. This is the PAL copy. They're both essentially the same. But they didn't, they didn't use it, and I don't know why. Like, I read on Twitter somewhere, so I don't know how reliable this is, but apparently Limited Run Games had some issues when rating the release with having guns pointing at the, like, at the person holding the case, which is a really ridiculous fucking thing to, like, rate a game on. Like, come on. I mean, it's, it's rated, it's rated teen, so, like, I don't fucking know. But um, the two covers we got, I don't really mind too much. I, I really like this one, to be honest. It's really cool. Um, this one I like, but like the render, like Jack's render looks a bit dodgy, like if you look really close at it. But uh, yeah, the only, only criticism I have is with the spine of this side specifically. What they did was they, no, was it this one? Okay, so with this one, they changed the spine to match the back of the box art, which is a completely original um, thing to match this. But with this box art, they reused the back of the original case. But they also reused the spine, which on this on the original, it matches the front and back cover. But with this one, it only matches the back cover. So it makes it look dumb as hell. It, uh, very, very petty, I know, but, you know, when you, as much of a fucking nerd as I am about this shit. Anyway, next item we have is the little cardboard sleeve for the Daxtomobile. I was really, really glad to see that they included this, um, it, like, f like for the Daxtomobile, so that way we have a little cardboard thing for all six cars, but we don't have a plastic casing for the Daxtomobile, unfortunately. But that's okay, it'll just sit in there in the collector's edition. Next up, we have the poster. Now this one is also double-sided. And it's a bit of a bitch. But there we go. So it's just essentially the extended version of the cover art. And on the other side, we have... Yeah. On the other side, we have... If you can see there, it's Ashlyn in front of 
one of the cars, I'm not 100% sure what car that is, but it's really dark. Uh, I can't really show you very well on here because it's very reflective, but again, I'll try and record some, some closer footage of each item. But yeah, poster, very cool. Okay, so next up is the CD soundtrack. This one's only a two disc as opposed to Jack 2 and 3, which were a three disc, as you can see. Now, this one is a little bit disappointing for me because there's no demo tracks, no bonus tracks that were previously unheard or maybe hard to get your hands on, except for one. So, so earlier in the year, I made a video going over this Jack X vinyl that I managed to pick up and I ripped the tracks and uploaded them to the archive. They're also on one of my other YouTube channels if you want to listen to it on YouTube. But, like, it's double-sided, so there's three tracks on here. Run the Table, exclusive remix, Reborn, exclusive remix, and Tempest, exclusive remix. Now, I was expecting all three of these to be on the new the new CD soundtrack, because like the previous, like the previous collector's editions, like the previous collector's editions, it included a bunch of bonus tracks that were never heard before, or like were never officially released or something like that. Like there were demo tracks, there were unused tracks, all that sort of stuff. And I was really hoping to get some more Jack X music, but the only song on here that was from that vinyl is Reborn. So only one of them from that vinyl is on here. So like there's still no definitive Jack X soundtrack, which is a bit disappointing. I'm sure there's still other songs that we haven't heard, like some demo songs maybe. And one other thing, they changed the name of Ancient to Slide. So Ancient's like the best song in the game. Um, like I'll, I'll, I'll stop playing it like now or whatever. I've probably already played it in this video. I don't really know. I haven't edited it yet. But they changed the name of it to Slide, which was the name of a different song, which they've probably renamed. I don't know. The naming on this on this album is kind of weird, so I'm gonna get super nerdy with this later on and like see which songs are actually named which and what they've renamed and shit like that. But yeah, uh, then we've got disc two, which is all the cutscene music. I haven't listened to it just yet. Um, everything is ripped though; it's gonna be all up in the archive. So here's the inside of the, the sleeve thing. Here is disc one, Ashlyn, and it opens like the Jack one. Um, CD soundtrack as well. There is UR86, disc, disc 2, and there's Daxter right there in the back. Very cool. So yeah, I really like the cover art though. Really nice. So yeah, there's a soundtrack, just a couple quarrels with it. Apparently the mixing is also a bit different. Um, like the drums are more in the forefront, which is kind of odd. Last up is the trading cards. So I was kind of screwed over with these ones a little bit, so I managed to open it fine. I, I ripped it a bit, which is unfortunate. But I was a bit screwed over with these, which is a tad annoying. This one of Ashlyn is the one I got screwed over. You can see it in the in the reflection. It's got a crease in it. As you can see, it's really annoying and it's weird as hell that this is the only card that has it. I have no clue why. And yeah, it kind of just bugs me a lot. So there we have it everyone, the Jack X Collector's Edition. Finally able to fill out my my shelf with all four collector's editions and it's very very awesome to finally have this in my possession. It's been almost an entire year since it went on sale. It went in on sale uh, middle of November. I think it was November 14th or something like that. Uh, but now in September, it finally just got to me yesterday. I'm filming this on the Tuesday 15th of September. Yeah, it took quite a while. Obviously a certain virus had a lot to do with production and of course shipping as well. Shipping took a very, very long time. But yeah, awesome to finally have the Jack X Collector's Edition. Now, this video is a bit shorter than the rest. I think, at least. The runtime is 16 minutes, so I don't really know. While I'm here, I'll also show you the couple other things that Limited Run Games put out to do with Jack and Daxter. So, first up is the Jack 4 Mock Case. This was given out to every 
customer who managed to get all four Jack and Dax to, uh, either standard edition or collector's edition, doesn't matter. As long as you got all four games from them to run games, you were able to get this mock case. So, this is a very, very, very cool item. And it's, it's so surreal. So inside, there's no disc. But there is a download code for a P a, an exclusive PS4 theme. Now, because Sony hates everyone outside America for some reason, I can't download this because I'm not I don't have an American account. And it's the same with the other four themes that were released to coincide with these collector's editions, like a couple years back or whatever. But yeah, very very cool. The code does expire, so I will make an account eventually and download the, the theme so it doesn't go to waste. But yes, very 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 cool. Very happy to have this in my collection. Yes. And the next thing is the Jack and Daxter double LP vinyl, which is a super, super cool thing to have. So this is essentially a compilation album. So side A is um, the best picks from the Precursor Legacy, side B is best picks from Jack 2, side C, best picks from Jack 3, and side D is the best bonus tracks from all four games that were chosen. So Josh Mansell, the composer, put this together. Um, not the artwork or anything, just chose the tracks and everything. Um, oh, the artwork is so cool, I love it. So, I didn't realize until I could look closer, but this front cover is like an amalgamation of all three Jacks. So there's Jack 1 Jack, Jack 2 Jack, and then there's Jack 3 Jack, which is very, very, very cool. Very cool detail. And then this image right here. Oh, it's so fucking good. Now, I'm not going to open this. Um, I've got it in the plastic sleeve. That's why the sticker is still here, and that's why it's all reflective. But I have scanned the entire thing. Um, this plastic sleeve thing it's resealable so I've already unsealed it a bunch of times so I don't want it to lose its stickiness but I have scanned the entire thing it's all on the archive for you to check out um, I haven't ripped the vinyls or anything because it's just a compilation album you don't really need to rip the vinyls nothing new on here but yes a very very cool item Jack and Daxter on vinyl is just such a cool thing but yeah Brrr. all right and here is the final thing to show in this video is this Jack and Daxter poster now I got this framed because I hated just having it rolled up in my fucking cupboard getting damaged and stuff like that and I wanted to be able to look at this and I've got it just up here on my little gaming thing where I've got some statues and collector's editions and stuff but yeah, Jack and Daxter poster, very very cool, I really really dig the art style, all the characters look great, hope you can hear me, but yes. A uh, little poster. I haven't scanned this or anything. I don't think I will as it'll be a massive pain in the ass But I'll take some good photos of it put up on the archive and Yeah, very very awesome. Thanks so much for joining me everyone So everything on you've seen in this video aside from that poster at the moment uh, It's all up on the Jack and Daxter archive for you to check out. I'll leave links in the description below So that's the Jack X collector's edition up for everyone to see the Jack 4 mock case is up there, the vinyl, the little toy cars and everything. Everything is up there for everyone to see, all free, everyone is, has equal access to everything. Because it's, I want the archive to be the best resource for any Jack and Daxter fan. So, just before filming this video, I was writing the script for the video about the Jack X design bible. That will be done very, very soon, as soon as I can get it done. I haven't scanned this just yet, um, it won't take... Uh, it'll, stay, it'll still take a while, but it won't take as long as the other three games because it is much thinner than the rest of them. But, I will get this done very soon. I'll have a video up about it very soon because I know those videos do extremely well. Everyone really likes those videos. And yeah, look forward to that. I hope you've enjoyed today's video at least. And yeah, once again, everything here that I've showed today up on the Jack and Daxter archive for you all to view. Thank you so much for watching, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Take it easy.